Hello again, everybody. This is Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today we're looking at a brand new, just arrived, 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2910BH. Single slide out, private bunks in the back, queen bedroom up front, two entry doors, uh, great floor plan. Let's get started, take a look. Hey guys, remember watch all the way to the end of the video, I'll show you a clip with the slides in so you can see what you're doing, don't have access to when you're in travel. Always remember, give me a quick thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. That'll give you a notification every time I put new campers on, so be the first one to see new floor plans, options, decors, make sure you hit that bell. Check down in the description, I'll have all your specs, holding tank sizes, measurements, uh, and just remember if you're coming to the lot in Yorktown, you want to see this camper or any other one in person, Make sure you ask for Scott. All right, scanning at the entry door, looking in, you see your slide out, bunk room to the left. You got your kitchen, got your pass-through bathroom, bedroom, your second door. We'll start in the bunk area. So as you see, there is a solid door that you can close off. One, so you don't have to look at the kids mess or if they're sleeping in but good privacy with a solid sliding door here you got two nice size bunks good storage your heat duct down low all your drawers are nice and deep you got the ability to take a shelf out if you want to use it for hanging space fire escape window uh, all of your windows do have your blackout roller shades, exhaust fan, another window. You do have air ducts in the bunk area, lights, charging areas, lights, receptacles, another window. Uh, so nice private bunk area with four windows. Pretty nice. Uh, you got your entertainment area directly across from the theater seats. Theater seats have footrests that kick out. They recline. You got heat, massage, LED lights, cup holders, nice storage. Again, all of your windows open. All of them have your blackout roller shades. Nice cross breeze with the ends of the slides having the windows as well. I uh, mentioned the entertainment area, your Roku TV is on a swivel arm, gives you easy access to your HDMI or USB hookups. You've also got your Furion stereo, again with HDMI, USB, receptacles. You've got inside and outside speakers, so two different zones. Good storage. Uh, they do hide your fuse panel. Your circuit breakers are in one nice private area. Again, storage and nice deep drawers. While we're down here low to the ground, got a pet drawer if needed or you can take it out. Then you've got your large utensil or wine bottle holder. 12 volt gas, uh, yeah, 12 volt refrigerator freezer. So it gives you a little bit more space, quicker cooling, exhaust fan, in addition to your exhaust for your range, which is the three burner range. It's got this glass flush mount cover. LED lights, pots and pans drawer. You put these little pegs to hold your stuff from rolling around. Drawers, storage throughout. You got lights. And you got receptacles, that stone look backsplash, large stainless steel sink. Again, with the cover, uh, you can use it half as a strainer or you can cover the whole thing. And you've got the additional countertop extension. Extended spray head, your cabinets or your lighter wood, nice light accents on there as well. Microwaves at a good level. 
your U-shaped dinette. So one nice feature here, table is easily removed. There's no pedestals, nothing in your way. And we'll take a look at this made into a bed. You've got the ottoman that comes out. We'll also look at that. All right, by removing the ottoman, which has plenty of storage inside, you can slide this table all the way back and you got plenty of leg room there. And you can remove these cushions also. Just got Velcro holding them in place if you need a little bit more space. But again, by removing the table, you've got no pedestal, nothing in your way. And then you can put the ottoman back in to make it the U-shape again. And also it's lightweight and easy to remove. And then I'll show you this setup as a bed as well. With the cushions down like so, you've got your bed. Again, you can remove these if you need a little bit of extra space for someone to sleep. A very easy setup and breakdown of the booth dinette. So slide that back in. You've got good storage down low. You also have receptacles. Again, same thing with the lights, with the windows opening and your roller shades. Thermostat for your AC, which is ducted. We also equip this with the second AC. So your thermostat for that is in the bedroom. Both ducted. So if you only had a 30 amp service, you could run the bedroom on it. It would still cool in the bunk area. Solid door, again, closing off your bathroom. Plenty of room around that porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice shower with the uh, retractable door. Gives you a good protection from spills. If you're not a big fan of that door, you can always put your own shower curtain rings. Put your own shower curtain up. I'm 6'5". Standing up in the shower, I'm right at the edge of the uh, skylight. So you got a couple more inches if you're a little taller than me. You've got plenty of room around the sink. Nice little spot for a trash can. You got receptacles, medicine cabinet, another window. Again, another door closing off the bedroom. Bedroom having the 60 by 80 queen walk around bed. Shocks that hold that up. A little drawer slides back and forth. Little cubby holes on either side that have the receptacles and charging areas. I did the lights both way on that soft touch headboard. You got a spotlight or um, a night light. You can decide which one you want. On either side, you've got hanging area. Again, deep drawers receptacles got a fire escape window here that opens blackout shade spot for your tv you got second doorway so plenty of room moving around the bed again no heat ducts in the floors they're all in the wall there your brand new 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2910BH. Got your ladder here. Makes it a little easier access. If you did have the ladder out, you can still um, use the door. You can go to the side if you want to close the door, but ladder access for that bunk. Uh, working our way out, you got coat hangers, storage, your uh, one control, control your awning, your slide, check your holding tanks all in one convenient area. Little shoe storage, let's head on out. 
Hey guys, before we head outside, remember if you're heading to the lot in Yorktown to see this or any other camper in person, make sure you ask for Scott. All right, moving to the outside, you see the nice front cap, the LED lights, Imagine logo, your model number right there on the tongue jack, which is power with lights, two 20 pound LP bottles. You got a spot for two batteries, it will come with one. Uh, nice protective guard here on the front. As you can see, we don't even wash this one yet, just came in. 2910 is a dry weight of 7,290 pounds. Pass through storage, light switch is for those. LED lights, motion sensor light, your tire link dock is where you hook up your uh, tire link monitor to check the tire pressure and temperature. Your docking area here has got outside shower, water hookup, battery disconnect, cable satellite, receptacle, your battery tender. Got access behind this panel for winterizing, nice clean storage. Your solar charge controller, nice thick slam latch compartment door, magnetic latches that hold it open. Moving down, you got a convenience light because you're close to your pull valves for your black and gray tank. Um, black tank flush, nice deep slide out. Moving down the side. All four corner manual stabilizer jacks. Check down the description. I'll have a link to a video on those. Factory installed ladder. We'll take a look at the roof. Right up on the roof, you see your two air conditioners, TV antenna, your roof vents, your solar panels, 165 watt. Top your slide out. Another roof vent there. We prepped for a backup camera. We are looking at a 50 amp service. Nice storage area here. So if you're looking at some differences on this and the 2800, imagine this is one big one. Other than the private bunk area, uh, you've got this storage area here in the back. It's a very nice feature. Uh, your spray port that reaches around to your outside shower. I mean, your outside kitchen. You got your griddle, your refrigerator, your quick connect for your propane and then you've got the crank uh, hole here is to drop down your spare tire you've got your step above entry steps those fold right up into the camper nice and clean you got the adjustable triggers here very easy to put them up and down you got a magnet holds the door, but you've also got it on a friction hinge, so it pretty much stays where you leave it. Nice screen door, full length power awning with LED lights. You got a support in the middle to keep that tube from sagging over time, just because it is a large uh, awning. Large assist handle. We are looking at the Goodyear Endurance tires. Uh, they are 15 inch. Outside speakers and exhaust for your range. Furnace and hot water heater. Outside TV and cable hookup here. Large assist handle on the front door and you got the regular steps, but they are aluminum, so lightweight, uh, nice and clean. On the side of your pass-through storage, we got the crank for your jacks for your spare tire, 50 amp cord, give you a receptacle and another motion sensor light inside that slam latch door so your brand new 2023 grand design imagine with the three-year structural warranty 2910 bh remember if you're heading out to the lot you want to see this or any other camper in person make sure you ask for scott all right as promised with the slide in you see there's no real access to the bunk area. You got full access to the refrigerator freezer. You're not getting to the bathroom from the living area. But remember, you've always got the second door. And that's what's going to give you the access to the 
bathroom.